when you first start using any of the programs in Office 2010, and this is Word 2010, you'll notice that there isn't an obvious place to get a new document, or open one for that matter. So how can you do this? Well, one way that you can do it is using the Quick Access Toolbar. That's this toolbar up at the top here. You can see it's got Save, Undo, Redo, which is now also known as Repeat, but nothing else. However, there is this little drop down here. If I click on it, I can choose to have a new option. You'll see that Save, Undo and Redo are ticked. If I click on New, it pops it in there. If I click on it again, I can choose Open. There are some other options such as Print and Print Preview, Quick Print, Email, Spell Check, and I can add those in. But these aren't quite in the order that I was used to having them when I was using 2003. So you can do that. You can change the order by clicking here going to more commands you'll see this list here and you can actually click on it to move them around so if I want new to be on the left hand side of the list I can move it up I want open to be next to it I simply click to move them up whilst I'm here you can actually see there are more commands here that I can add so for example I might want to put copy on here I can click on it and then click on add I can do the same for cut. I could move those around. These are the popular commands. Here's a list of commands not in the ribbon. And you could scan through to find the ones you want. Or you can look at all commands. There's more here, but these are the most common ones to use. Click on OK. You've now customized your toolbar at the top there. I can click on new will give me a new document some people prefer also to have the quick access toolbar underneath the ribbon you can simply do that by clicking on that drop down again show below the ribbon you can move it back up by clicking there again and show above the ribbon so that is how to make better use of the quick access toolbar how to customize it and how to move it